Hi everyone. So in this video, I'm going to um, open the uh, RDCAM um, box. This is the box for the um, CSI2 to uh, HDMI um, cable extension module. And uh, this is specifically for the Raspberry Pi cameras. It's the um, B0091. Uh, I um, gave its description in the previous video. So in this one, I'm going to open open the box. Uh, that way you can see what's, uh, what comes in the box. Uh, these two items here, these two are from another uh, unit that I bought. But um, uh, as you can see here, inside uh, the package, there are two there are two um, identical units that are uh, connected uh, together. So you basically break them off. Uh, they already come with the cables, with the um, cables attached. Um, so uh, in addition, there are uh, screws and um, uh, nuts and standoffs here that uh, you can use to attach a um, Raspberry Pi uh, camera module to it. So there's really not much else in the box. Uh, ex um, so this is basically what uh, what you what you receive, I guess, when you when you order it. In any case, I'm going to put that aside and show you again the unit that I, that I've assembled already. So this has the uh, Raspberry Pi camera module attached, as you can see. And uh, I showed, uh, showed it from various angles in the last video. In any case, uh, now what I want to do is to bring my Raspberry Pi into the picture because I want to replace the current connection. So this is the way the camera module, the camera is currently um, connect the cameras on this uh, uh, base and as you can see it, it's connecting to the um, Raspberry Pi's uh, CSI adapter I mean uh, connector so what I'm going to do is to basically remove this um, by uh, opening it and then pulling the you got to be careful with these if you're not gentle with them these connectors can break and uh, it's a big problem because then, unless you know how to repair it, um, you're basically done with the, I mean, you have to get a new Raspberry Pi. Um, so anyways, uh, this is the far side where the camera will be at a distance from the Raspberry Pi. So um, what, uh, um, what uh, I need to do is to put this cable with the um, wires uh, connected this way in this orientation, because uh, that's where the where the connections are. If you look inside uh, the connector, uh, the I don't know if it's visible or not, but if you look inside, the connections are on the left here. So the cable goes in like this. The blue side is facing the. Um, the rear, the connect the USB connectors, and basically you just plug that down. So now this unit is um, connected to the Raspberry Pi. There are holes on the side of these this unit. There are holes here that you might be able to way, find a way to um, Uh, what do you call it uh, to mount it but uh, right now I'm just gonna let it let it float around let me pause so the next uh, step is to connect the the cable the video cable the HDMI cable to this so as you can see now the video the HDMI cable is connected now this is a pretty long HDMI cable uh, actually it's not any longer than normal it's just uh, it's not a short cable. It's just regular size, regular length. And then on the other end of it, what's going to happen is it's going to come and connect uh, 
to the um, um, to the um, the far side module. So now the video connection is uh, set up, and um, as far as the audio is concerned, uh, basically I will insert a um, microphone into here. So here's the microphone. The microphone is um, got an XLR to um, TRS um, cable, and that's uh, suitable for inserting into the uh, inserting into the um, audio jack on the far side. So, so the microphone and the camera will be then together placed away from the uh, Jetson, I mean, from the um, Raspberry Pi. And then uh, to connect the audio, uh, you basically need to connect the, you need an auxiliary cable. So this cable has, uh, uh, is a TRS uh, tip ring and sleeve. Um, so that um, you connect one end um, to here, to this module, and the other end goes into the audio input connector of the Sabrent uh, USB audio adapter. And that goes either directly into the uh, USB port of the Raspberry Pi, or it goes, uh, or this thing goes into the uh, USB hub. But basically this uh, completes the video and audio connection to the remote side. And um, with this assembled, I'm, I can, should be able to now play, play video from the other side and also maybe even record audio. Um, so I'm going to pause and then put it in, in, a, in a spot that I, that I can uh, run it and then uh, come back. Okay, so now I have the um, RDCAM module connected to the Raspberry Pi. I've placed it where I normally put it for, for this overhead shot. And uh, as you can see, uh, the Articam uh, CSI to HDMI cable module is connected uh, to the CSI port of the Raspberry Pi. The video cable, the HDMI cable goes to the far side and carries both audio and video. Here I have the audio signal connected to this uh, uh, Sabrent um, module and uh, it goes into this US, uh, USB hub and it goes uh, from there the USB hub comes to this port of the, the USB 2 um, connector on the Raspberry Pi. And then, um, as you can see, I have this uh, microphone uh, that is connected uh, on the other side, on the remote side, and uh, its audio um, connect, uh, cable is coming here into the uh, Articam module. And the Articam module is sitting above there and taking a shot of the microphone. Uh, so with that, I should be able to switch to the Raspberry Pi desktop. And here I have two windows opened and the top window uh, is the OpenCV application that I normally use for this uh, so as a sample application in these videos. And on the bottom uh, terminal, I have a FFmpeg command to capture audio. Uh, the name of the device is something I found using the a play command uh, and uh, the name is device. Um, so uh, I tell FFmpeg to capture from the device and uh, save the audio file as mp3 in this folder with the timestamp. So let me start the audio first. Um, and that looks okay. That looks like it started capturing uh, from the input stream. And then I'll start the uh, OpenCV application and uh, we can see how the video looks as well. Hmm. There we go. It took it a little bit, but um, 
Uh, that, uh, as you can see, is the live camera. I'll move my finger under there, under the far side camera, so that you can see that it's live, and um, I'm doing it. Uh, it's capturing the frames. And uh, to check the um, audio, I just have to go to that uh, sessions directory, and there's the MP3 file that's being recorded. I guess I could play it. I don't have a speaker connected to the Raspberry Pi, so I won't be able to hear anything, but it should be able to play from the file, which it looks like it's doing. And it's recorded about 49 seconds so far. So that's about it. Um, this uh, Arducam uh, solution is uh, one of the solutions that uh, that converts from HDMI to um, CSI2. And um, it's uh, currently, I don't have enough experience with it to know how good the signal quality is, at what distances it remains good. I don't boost the, uh, the HDMI signal, uh, but um, uh, so far so good. Uh, I really don't have enough input uh, for the, for, you know, for long-term use to know any, any issues. But um, my main uh, goal for today was to be able to just uh, connect it up and uh, be able to experiment with it. I hope this was useful and uh, uh, thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Take care.